Good morning, boys and girls. Happy Friday. It's our fun Friday day. We made it through the week. Your parents made it through the week, helping you guys at home, being awesome learners. So we're super proud of your moms and dads and grandparents and everybody that's helping. Um, I've missed you so much. Your teach All your teachers have missed you so much. I would love to see your sweet faces. And some of us we have seen through Seesaw and heard your voices through all the um, assignments that you're submitting through Seesaw. So we're really happy. Um, I'm going to do our morning meeting this morning. And then we're going to do a little bit of some foundations. And then I'm going to leave you with one of our harmony questions so that you can um, think about that and think about how you're going to answer that. Okay. So we, like I just said, today is Friday. Let's write it on our board. Today is Friday. Does anybody know what month we're in? It's a brand new month. Yep, that's right, it's April. Okay, so yesterday was number two on our calendar. So if yesterday was number two, today is going to be number that's right. Does anybody know what year we're in? That's right. It's 2020 or 2020, however you want to say it. That's how we're going to write it, okay? So today is Friday, April 3rd, 2020. Good job. Okay, we're going to go over some of our kindergarten core words this morning just as a refresher. It's a great thing to do every day on your, you all have rings um, that have core words on them. So um, you can always have a mom or a dad or a brother or a sister or a cousin or somebody call them out to you. So we're going to go over those core words right now. All right, I'm going to give you a chance to say it and then I'll say it for us, okay? Can. See. Like is am a me I the to go. We, she, up, say, in, it, mom, look, my, on, Dad, he, for, got, and, are, come, did, hear, not, play, Said you out. Great job, kindergarten friends. Okay, we're going to go over our numbers now. And remember, our teen numbers always start with the number one. So that's going to help you remember all those teen numbers. 18, 15, 12, Nine, six, three, zero, nineteen, sixteen, thirteen, ten, seven. Four, one, twenty, seventeen, fourteen, eleven, eight, five, two. 
Great job on your numbers, boys and girls. Okay, I'm gonna go over our foundations cards and then we're gonna move into our lesson today about digraphs, okay? So don't forget, when we see one of our vowels, we wanna stretch that vowel sound, okay? T, top, t. B, fat, b. F, fun, f. R, rat, er. S, snake, s. P, pan, p. K, kite, k. H, hat, O, octopus, ah, there's our stretch. W, win, w. L, lamp, o. Y, yellow, y. Q, queen, qu. Z, zebra, z. I, itch, i. M, man, m. U, a, a. B, van, v. D, dog, d. G, game, g. X, fox, x. E, ed, e. C, cat, k. A, Apple, ah. J, jug, j. N, nut, n. Great job, friends. I'm going to go over our digraphs right now with you guys, and then we're going to do some building of digraph words with our letter tiles. And um, we're going to be digraph detectives and underline those digraphs and look for them when we see them in words, okay? So here's our first one. S H ship sh C H chin ch T H thumb th W H whistle w C K sock k. So whenever you see those two letters together, you remember that you're a digraph detective. You're looking for those letters. And when you see those two letters together, they make one sound, okay? So it's a um, great way when you're reading your books right now, if you want to um, just spend some time looking at a book and trying to find all the words that you can in your book that have digraphs in them. And remember, sometimes they start with digraphs and sometimes they end with digraphs and sometimes they have them on both ends of our words, okay? So I'm gonna flip the camera now. Okay, boys and girls, so we are gonna build some digraphs and be a digraph detective and find those digraphs and underline them in our words today, okay? So our first word is gonna be rash. What is the beginning sound you hear of rash? That's right, it's an R. R ah. And then our next sound you hear is shh. There's our digraph, those two letters together that make one sound, okay? So let's tap out our word. R, a, sh. R, a, sh. I heard my digraph, so I'm gonna underline that sound, okay, when I push my word together. R, a, sh, rash. Great job, okay? Let's do another word. Our next word is going to be bath. What is the first sound you hear in b bath? That's right, it's the letter B. B a There's that digraph. I hear the two sounds together. It's going to be our T and our H. And remember, that's the one you can stick your tongue out to say. So let's underline our digraph and let's tap it out. B a B Ah, uh, there's our digraph. Great job. Okay, next word that we're gonna do is duck. What is the first sound you hear in duck? That's right, it's a letter D. Duh, uh, 
and the k sound. What two letters that when you put them, put them together make the digraph sound k? That's right, it's our C and our K, okay? So let's put it together. We're gonna underline that digraph. D, a, k, duck, okay? Good job. All right, we're gonna do one more. And this last one is going to be much, much. What is the first sound we hear in much? The letter M. M, A, letter U, and then our digraph, CH. Okay, so C and H. Okay, I'm gonna underline our digraph. M, A, CH, M, A, CH, MUCH. Okay, so that's our last digraph for today. What I want you guys to do when you're reading some of your Raz Kids or your epic stories is if you see a digraph, point it out to your moms and dads and show them what a digraph looks like, okay? All right, for your seesaw work today, we have two um, things I'm going to show you quickly. The um, first one is your plus fours and your plus fives. And remember, when you're doing your addition, you can use all the strategies that we've talked about, okay? We've talked about using our fingers. We've talked about drawing pictures. We've talked about using objects, using a number line. Um, and if you have counters at home, you could use counters too. So there's lots of things you could do. The biggest one that's going to help you in these two are going to be able to be um, using the strategy of putting the bigger number in your head. So remember, you're going to put the big number in your brain, and then you're going to count up with the next number, okay? And then another page on your seesaw today is going to be the and and play sentence page, okay? So your job is to find all the words on the page that, start, that have and in them. You can circle them on your seesaw page. And then you're going to read these to a parent. If you want to read them to a parent and have them record you and send it to us, that's awesome. We love to hear you reading because you are all awesome readers. I'm going to read the first sentence with us. Remember our strategies. I can see apples and bananas. I like apples and bananas, okay? So I'm using my pointer puppy, which is super duper important for these sentences. I want you guys, you can read them, um, find those core words, the and core word and the play core word in your sentences, and then you can record if you want to, okay? You guys did an awesome job today listening to my lesson on in foundations about digraphs and reviewing that. Um, I'm going to leave you today with a harmony question, okay? So I want you to either um, tell your parents or your sisters or brothers or aunts or uncles or grandparents or anybody that you would like to tell um, the answer to your question to, or you can record your answer on Seesaw and message your teacher, okay? So the question for today is, what do you like best? about being at school. So what's something you're missing the very most that you love the best about school? So if you could message that to your teacher or tell your moms and dads, um, that's your Harmony question for today. And I hope you have a great weekend. I miss you guys. Um, all your teachers miss you. And we hope we get to see you soon. Enjoy your spring break. Don't forget next week is spring break. So we are on break um, all next week and then the following Monday as well. So um, just remember that you get to take a break from your online learning and we'll see you back here um, on that Tuesday after our break. If you have any questions, let us know. We miss you.